Hey, welcome to uh, a Tech Head tip on how to get started as an Apple teacher. So to start your journey to become an Apple teacher, the first thing you need to do is sign in to appleteacher.apple.com with your Apple ID. You can find that link uh, linked below this video. If you do not have an Apple ID, you can go right below here and click to create yours. So once you've entered your Apple ID, uh, you click to sign in and enter your password. Sign in and it's going to open up the dashboard for the Apple Teacher Learning Center. Once you're in, you can scroll down and you can choose your path. Do you want to do this for an iPad or do you want to do this for a Mac? I'm going to choose Mac. You can keep scrolling down and it gives you an instruction of the process. So first you make your choice, then you would learn all the skills you would need, and then you would take the quiz and earn your badge. And at the end, your ultimate goal is to become an Apple teacher. So once you've had a look at the opening page here and seen what your instructions are, you can go up to the top right hand corner and click done. And it will bring you to the teacher learning center. Once this is loaded up, you can scroll through here. There's lots of great information if you'd like to read through it. However, I'm going to go straight to badges. I chose Mac, so I'm going to click on badges for Mac. And it's going to bring me to the badges for Mac page. My recommendation is you choose the application that you are most familiar with. So I'm going to choose iMovie for Mac. I click on iMovie for Mac. It will open up this window and you click view. That will bring you to the iMovie for Mac page and it gives you lots of different options to get background information on iMac. You can choose to read some of that information. However, if you're feeling confident and know the application, you can go right to the quiz and say, earn your badge. And it's going to start with questions for iMovie. And you can go through those. Once you're finished, you can submit your answer to get your badge. Or if you're feeling like you need to do some more studying, you can close it and head back. So once you have completed all eight of the badges uh, for Mac or for iPad, depending on your choice, you should have a screen that looks something like this one where there are check marks on all of the requirements. Uh, once you've done this, you are an Apple teacher. So you can go back to home. And the first thing you're gonna wanna do is look for this notification. It's official, you're an Apple teacher. You can click on that and you'll get a window such as this. You can click on view and there will be instructions on how you can download your badge. So it will say using Apple teacher signature. So please read Apple's requirements for that. And then on the bottom there, you can download the Apple teacher signature. If you can please for me, go to your profile and you will see your name and your Apple teacher badge. Please take a screenshot of your name and your Apple teacher badge. Uh, to take a, a screenshot on the Mac, you could say Command Shift 4, and you see my cursor has turned into a crosshairs, then you can use that to click and drag the area you would like. So I'm going to click and drag my name and Apple Teacher. Once my screenshot has been taken, please email that to me so that I can check you off my list as having completed your Apple teacher training. Thank you so much. Thanks for listening to the Tech Head Tip.